House of the Dragon Season 2 is set to release in 2024, and it is increasingly important to HBO's future. House of the Dragon Season 2 hasn't been too affected by the WGA and SAG AFTRA strikes. Its actors are members of the UK Union Equity, meaning filming was able to continue, although any necessary rewrites and subsequent reshoots would have had to wait until the writer's strike ended. However, it's still a lengthy turnaround, with the show not expected to return until summer 2024, around two years after season one premiered. The House of the Dragon season one ending set up the show to become even bigger in terms of scale and spectacle, with the Dance of the Dragons set to begin in earnest. Beyond that, though, the show is going to be even bigger for HBO2 and vital for the network's future, that was already the case, but is even more apparent as things progress post-writer strike. Although it's something HBO has been contending with since even before Game of Thrones ending. In a promising update on House of the Dragon Season 2's release date, it was also revealed that HBO's other priorities coming out of the JDJ strike would be shows such as The Last of Us Season 2, The White Lotus Season 3, and Euphoria Season 3. This makes sense, as they all make up some of the network's biggest, buzziest, and best series, but they aren't as easy to bring back as House of the Dragon. Since the SAG AFTRA strike is ongoing at the time of writing, then while scripts can be written, filming won't commence until the actors are finally given an updated fair deal. That then means those aforementioned shows almost certainly won't return until 2025 that puts greater pressure on House of the Dragon Season 2 to deliver, because it will be HBO's biggest show by far in 2024. The cable outfit has some other potentially big shows, including True Detective Season 4 and The Sympathizer. The former, though, is a franchise that peaked in Season 1, and the latter not yet proven, and while it should get awards attention, won't draw in the same viewership as, say, The Last of Us did. House of the Dragon Season 2 is easily the biggest audience draw for HBO in 2024, so it needs to deliver. There's little question that it should do well, given House of the Dragon Season 1's ratings were very impressive, averaging almost 30 million viewers per week across US platforms. But HBO would probably like to see it so even better, given its lack of other major franchises in 2024. Not everything can be a House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones size release, of course, and nor does it need to be. But it seems like it'll be the only one of that magnitude, and it shows its importance not only for 2024, but far beyond that for HBO. HBO has other buzzy shows like The Last of Us, The White Lotus, and Euphoria, but the latter two aren't on the same level as House of the Dragon and none of quite the same wider franchise potential of Game of Thrones. The Last of Us Season 2 could even be the last, given there are only two games. Even if it gets a Season 3, it may not last beyond that, and spin-offs are possible but TBC. Similarly, Euphoria Season 3 could mark the end of that show, while it's unknown how long The White Lotus will run. House of the Dragon is the one show that's really replaced Game of Thrones in terms of ratings, a problem HBO has long been facing. Succession was its awards replacement, and that's now ended too, and that doesn't look likely to change. With at least one more prequel ordered, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight, and more very likely, then Game of Thrones looks set to be HBO's flagship franchise for much of the 2020s and probably beyond. That means House of the Dragon Season 2 really needs to succeed, although thankfully Season 1 suggests it will.